赤コーナー 180cm87kg This guy is the ultimate working class hero of mixed martial arts fighter. Doesn't talk about any smack at all, just comes out and punches and grapples. And does it real well. What a surprise, sir. Eh? And in some ways, Shoji does the exact same thing. I would have to say that Dan Henderson had the more potent uh, striking offense, and Henderson is obviously a better wrestler, but Shoji claims jujitsu as his style and has been in with some big guys. He's been in with Mark Coleman, who's the Pride Fighting Championship's Grand Prix champion. He's also been in with Igor Rovchanshin. He went the distance with both of those fighters. Says something about the little person right there, huh? But Henderson has not been in with easy fighters himself. I can hardly wait for this match. They're slugging it out. Good right hand by Shoji. He caught Henderson. Henderson with the upkick. Shoji coming out, punching. Wow, boss. Oh, he's going for an armbar. And, well, and with the new rules now, it's difficult. It's dangerous. Wow, Shoji's really putting a lot of hurt on Dan Henderson right now. Henderson has really got to tie up the arm. Whoa. The upkick there. Shoji, what's up with him? He's like trying to knock Dan Henderson out. I'm back. That's what he says. That's the message right here he gives to the audience. Dan Henderson has been knocked down a number of times in his career, and he's absorbed punishment, and he's got one of the uh, legendary chins in, in uh, mixed martial arts. He can take a shot. Well, unfortunately, he had to take some there. Yeah, but he was giving away with the... He gave a few with the, his feet stamping up. I don't think he quite expected that out of Shoji. I mean, if anything, he probably thought that maybe Shoji respected him so much he was going to move around, think about it, maybe shoot, maybe yeah, do shoot. something, but come right out after him. It's, it's, almost, right. it's almost like he fought him exactly the same way Vanderlei did, and when Vanderlei did that, he did the same thing to Dan. Hurt Dan, knocked him down, got control. But Dan... Somebody special. Oh, yeah. He, he, he'll come back. He'll come back and beat you. Dan Henderson has got huge victories on his roster. He's beaten Gilbert Ivo, Antonio Noguera, Hanato Babalu, and, and he, he's the first man to ever knock out a Gracie. He knocked out Henzo Gracie in Pride 13, and that was last March. That was with a right hook. And Dan Henderson, his right punch is his punch. Hopefully he did not take Shoji lightly because Shoji is coming off a loss to Henzo Gracie's student Ricardo Almeida, that was in Pride 12, December 23rd of last year. There were concerns that Shoji, it was his uh, appendix that may have weakened it, but he doesn't make excuses for himself. He never mentioned that himself. Shoji's having the time. He's like, what's he going to do? <laughs> you know, you can see the influence that Kazushi Sakuraba has had on a lot of fighters, and I'm seeing it now. Look, what's he gonna do, a back kick? Wow. Can you believe this, boss? Shoji, the showman, usually he's the meat and potatoes fighter, but now he's coming out putting on a show. <laughs> he's, maybe he's expecting when he turns himself that he's gonna stand up and then he's gonna make a back kick to the head. Okay, well, the, oh. ti the timing on that was a little awkward. Yep, he didn't like that. Because Shoji was coming in, he grabbed the, the attempted kick by Dan Henderson. Henderson wants this position, I believe. He wants to throw that right hand. Yeah, no, it's not going to go to the ground. Henderson, Henderson using the shoulder. Shoji's got to be careful with that right hand. Yeah, it's the right hook, the straight right, or the right uppercut. Dan rarely punches in combination, but it's that right punch he'll throw over and over again. Oh, good right hand by Henderson. Oh, good left, left. hook. And shows oh, shooting in for a takedown. Ball. Henderson sprawling back. Knee to the head. Big right hand by Dan Henderson. Dan Henderson has jumped back into this fight. Oh, God, what a reverse, suddenly, eh? A total twist, 100%. And we alluded to this earlier, boss, that Henderson, you may hurt him early. And much like Evander Hollifield or some other great fighters, he'll come back and he'll know he'll have to hurt you back. There's that right hand. right hand again. That right hand is the, is the weapon. Shoji's got to be careful. Oh, and the left. Shoji's going to get knocked out here if he eats too many more of those right hands. And now mount. Shoji can take a punch, but he doesn't want to take Dan Henderson's right hand because Henderson has hurt people. Is Shoji? It looked like he's tapped. It looked like he, yeah, yeah, but he was just blocking the punch. Yeah. 
Setting him up. Oh, there we go. He's oh. holding to the side. Now he's going to right punch. It's like he's giving him an arm to go for an arm bar, and it's a setup, you know? He thinks, here, take my arm, please, so I can go climb on top. I hope Dan's not going to fall for it. Well, I got to tell you, any advantage that Shoji got early on, Dan has recouped and maybe even gained uh, in the point department with the judges. Shoji with the buck, and Henderson wanting to stand back up. But he's not going to play the buck and roll no. game. Not with Shoji. He doesn't want to be in the ground fight and be rolling around on the guard. Henderson wants to knock him out. But so does Shoji. This is a war, boss. Oh, look. Oh, and again. Left hand. Right hand. They're trading punches here, folks. He's kneeing him. Oh, he's not good. Him to the has got to get out of the way. Kick by Dan Henderson. They're slugging it out again. Boss, did you expect this fight to be like this? I knew it was going to be an action-packed fight. Yeah. But after the first start, I thought, hmm. But I knew once they're going to be on the feet, it's going to be very difficult for Soji to take him down. To take um, Dan down. Just when you think that it cannot be mere, more spectacular to fight eh, than we already had. <laughs> This they night so this. far has exceeded any expectations I've had. Yeah. Because in in mixed martial art fights, you can have slowdowns, you can have people pulling the guard. There's a shoulder by Henderson. You can have it, you really don't know what to expect. It can be a technical fight, which isn't the most exciting thing, or it could be a war. We've seen so many different endings, so surprises. Shoji coming out in a rage against Dan Henderson. Dan Henderson firing back. I, me personally, I knew that this fight was going to be a dog fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially when somebody's very good in wrestling and boxing skills, and the other one is a submission artist, for sure there's going to be fireworks. But Shoji coming out with his own right hand. Oh, yeah. And he's surprised right there. The left shoulder, you see, he's punching him with the left shoulder concept. Oh. Shoji doesn't want to be down in that uh, position. Ooh. Shoji using a lot of movement, otherwise he's going to get kicked. Low kick by Dan Henderson. <laughs> yeah. we, we don't see Henderson throw a lot of kicks. No, but he's starting with it. Henderson is perfect. Oh, good uppercut by Henderson. He sets it up with the low kicks. It's so smart, you know? He gives a low kick, and then he comes with a hand. Look, at Shoji's really lumped up right now. But he's been in that position, too, a few times, Shoji. Very hard to take a not a good right hand. Dan Henderson, very patient here. He doesn't want to punch himself out because this is the first round, which is 10 minutes. Oh, nice takedown. Trip there by Shoji. Surprise to us. There you go. Dan may have used a little bit of energy there. May have to re recuperate. Yeah, and yeah, so you have to hammer there right on the liver, on the kidney, to the left, so that he can breathe freely. I, I, I would, I'd be willing to bet that they're going to be a little slow down here. They're both going to regroup a little bit. Both men tried to hurt each other, tried to take each other out. Both men now know the other guy's probably not going to go anywhere. Yep. It's going to be very difficult for one of these guys to knock each other out. We know that. Nobody's ever knocked either guy out. Dan Henderson has really only got one loss. Shoji has, what, got three losses out of his career, all by decision. Mark Coleman, as we said earlier, Eagle Buff Chanchin, and also Ricardo Almeida. Yes, 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 yes. I think that uh, different dictionaries may have different definitions, but one dictionary may have the word tough, have Dan Henderson's picture next to it. But another dictionary, maybe here in Japan, may have the word the tough. It may have Akira Shoji's picture next to it. These guys are both tough. They can both take a beating, but they can also give one, too. Akira Shoji's got some big wins. He beat Guy Mesger. He stopped Valij Ishmael. And Here we go with the turn. He has to put his right leg on the ground if he wants to make that turn, that twist. But he doesn't. That's the way, Danny, yes. Yeah, this is okay because now they recoup a little bit and they, uh, yeah, the, the fight's going to be only more interesting once they're going to stand up now. Exactly. They re-energize. Re-energize, that was the word. Yeah, because Dan Anderson, he's his own energizer guy because he's got... Dan has got the sneakiest, weirdest right hand, and no one seems to be able to block that punch. 
Yeah, it's a right hook and sometimes a right straight, a half hook straight, and it has a lot of power. Oh, it's got a good deal of power. Uh, he said that when he first started to train in boxing, that he kind of knew, and everybody told him that in the, in the gym he had a pretty good right hand from the very beginning. Well, you can tell. <laughs> yeah, and he said, he said, from what I understand about Shoji, he said his fight with him is going to be a war, and he's going to try and KO him or submit him, and he said a KO would be ideal. Shoji, of course, has other plans. Shoji wants to get back in the picture. He wants to, so Shoji is bouncing in and out, maybe at the top ten, uh, had a couple losses, but he's picked a real tough cookie to make his comeback into pride with. Yeah, well, yeah. Because Dan's on a roll. Dan just knocked on hands of Gracie. Nobody ever stopped at Gracie. And there's a kick again. There's an up kick, and there's a little hook kick from the bottom. And Shoji Whoa. answers with his own stomp. Wow. What a round. Now, they're going to re-energize. Let's see if they're going to show us some beautiful slow-mos. Yeah, because we've got a lot of action in that round. I mean, really. Man, they both gave as good as they got in that round. I would have to say Dan squeaked the round out at the at the. And it seemed like that Shoji, his energy went down a little lower, and Dan landed the crisper punches and probably hurt Shoji. But Dan knows why waste time trying to take this guy. Here we go, Dan raging forward, and Shoji. That was a big right hand. That was a big right hand. Dan walked right into it. That was the first one, huh? And then uh, Shoji coming down. Raining down punches. A lot of these are blocked or missing, but he's getting busy. And Dan trying to do the up kick like a lot of the Brazilian fighters have done in the past. Shoji, this looks like he's trying to stop Dan. But like I said, nobody has stopped Dan Henderson. Nobody even has really come close. And he stayed perfectly we, comfortable on the ground. Here's the reversal. That knee almost landed. Dan chopping away with that right hook. That right hand over and over behind the ear. Oh. The left hand was what hurt Shoji. Shoji shot in for the takedown and got the takedown, but Dan sprawled back and stood back up, kneed him. Dan, oh, that was a hard shot, boss. And he just jumps out. What a fight, that. Eh? Both these guys are like little wild men. They're just like bouncing all over the place. Getting some last minute instructions from UFC heavyweight champion Randy Couture there with the Team Quest t-shirt. Got two more five minute rounds that were scheduled for. That first one was a tough one. Got to lean toward Henderson in that first round. He controlled more of the fight, in my opinion. I think so too. I think first round was for, for Dan. But that's why they got three. Here we go again. Well, Shoji assured us that he would stop Dan's current ascent by using his heart because he believes that he's got a bigger heart than Dan. He did say pay a lot of respect to Dan's abilities to punch and to wrestle. So he no oh good Not shopping. a right hand. That right hook, boss. It's just full on it again. Shoji is really taking a banging here. He should walk back. Yeah, just, just stand back up. He's going to play his game by being in the guard, I believe. Whoa, there was some big punches right there. A lot of the wrestlers have learned to strike so well that they don't mind being in the guard. The guard used to be a feared position back about, what, four or five years ago? But now these people, they just punch their way out like Don Fry or some of the other great fighters in the short history of mixed martial arts. They'll get in the guard. The theory of the guard is to get the guy in an arm bar or a triangle choke or to close him down, grab his arm so he can't hurt you. Yeah. Because without headbutts, you, you could actually lock the guy's arms up and just basically shut the fight down. Yep. And an arm bar and a triangle is, on this level nowadays, very difficult to make. And especially now, like in the second round, they're sweating. They're going to slip out. Still, it's possible. Don't get me wrong. Difficult. Yeah, yeah because we saw an arm bar by Elvis over Joe Hill, and it was a good crisp arm bar. Dan uh, smothering Shoji a little bit. 
Dan is staying busy. Shoji kind of hanging on right here. Dan elbowing the thigh. Not an illegal strike. That's a very smart thing to do, too. Sure. Yeah, he's working. I don't know what the referee's going to do. If they think it's enough work, and maybe they're going to stand it up. Well, it's obvious to me that the standing position favors Dan Henderson because yeah. Dan Henderson has got the power to score a knockout in this fight. Oh, yeah. And uh, on the other hand, we, we saw uh, Akira Soji with some big guys in the ring. Even Igor Vovchanchin couldn't knock him out. So, But I think that in this fight, Dan Henderson has landed a lot more punishing punches than Igor did in that fight. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dan has really hurt Shoji and, and nailed him. Now Shoji can take a punch. Now Dan's just, he's, he's doing what he's got to do. The object is to make your opponent quit. Okay, what is he going to get a cut? The referee's pulling something out. Uh, looks like they're going to maybe examine the cut. Uh, no, a yellow card for stalling. Uh, well, that's an interesting call. I, uh, that, that's a little strict on Shoji. I, I don't know that I would have given that to Shoji, but now he's really got a deficit. If he lost the first round, now he's for sure losing this round. He's got to come Ooh, back. Right knee, left knee. He got the yellow card for not non aggressive fighting. So, oh, good oh, left hook. Wow. Dan Henderson is throwing his right and his left boss. He is phenomenal, and he's got the mount. This, now it's going to be dangerous. Yeah, this is really a bad position for Shoji to be in. Yeah, pick a shot. I wonder if he's going to take the bait because it looks like it's a bait. Go for my armbar now, for, right for an armbar. Punch, punch, punch. Up, one, two, back down. Up, one, two, back down. Yes. That was a good right. Dan can generate such power at such a short distance with his punches. Oh, he's going for a feel Yeah, but it, he's not going to do it. He has to go to side mount because it's dangerous to do it from a mount. Because he'll roll him. Yep, right away. Yeah, because all he has to do is trap the flip and roll him. Come on, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Dan with a real high mount here. Up and go, up and go. Dan wants to keep his knees. Yeah, but Dan's got a real high mount, and I think he figures because the ropes are there, if Shoji bucks him forward, he'll use the ropes to bounce him back. Yeah, but what if he just jumps into a side position? He could use that whole movement to put uh, to the apply the hammerlock. But he's content to keep the mount and ground and pound with the back hammer fist. And it looks like he's going to spin him in and maybe try to choke him. Oh, he's got Whoa. him in a bad position here, boss. He's got both his arms locked up. Look at this. If, if he wants to tap, he cannot even tap anymore. Yeah. And the side choke. He's going for side choke. Wow, what a nice move. Okay, he escaped uh, Shoji, but it was a perfect setup. Dan Henderson dominating Akira Shoji throughout the first and now through the second round. Little flurry, come on, little flurry. Give me a little flurry, finish it. Right you know, there, we've seen so many different changes in the sport of mixed martial arts. At first, it was the jiu-jitsu fighters came out and dominated everyone. No one knew how to fight on the ground. Then the wrestlers came out and rough people up. Then the strikers, the strikers, Maurice Smith and Eagle of Chanchin and Pele. Another dominating round for uh, Henderson. Now it's come back to where wrestlers are learning to strike and kickboxers like Chuck Liddell are learning to defend the takedown. So there's this hybrid striking oriented mixed martial art trend right now. And everybody is getting really, really strong. There's no more bad fighters nowadays. Everybody who fighting uh, who fights in the big league, they're all tough. You know, personally, I, I think one of the silliest questions that a person can ask is, well, gee, what is the best style? Because it's the guy, it's not the style. But look at that counter, he threw that left hook, showed you through the, the right low kick, and he threw that left hook, and here's the right hand, it misses. And Anderson in control here. Dan defending the buck and roll really well, not taking the bait on the arm bar, as you said, boss. Yep. But it's like this sport is progressing so quickly Guys really know how to defend themselves, but they know how to be offensive. And you don't see easy takedowns, especially in pride, not with a knee on the, on the ground, because if you scroll back, you cannot shoot in 
like you did before and not worry about, oh, well, I'll just lay here in the turtle position. Now they can kick you yeah. and knee you. So you, you have to, if you want to have a, a style that is, quote, effective or street effective or I, whatever, you really have to know how to defend from the whole situation. Strike standing up, strikes on the ground, submission standing like a guillotine, or submissions on the ground, arm bar, rear naked choke, or leg lock, or whatever. For instance, Valentine Overeem, great submission guy, going for that submission over and over and over, and Gary just put one knee on him, and the fight was over. Yeah, he should have bent the arm off, went for the twist. Ah, but we can talk long about it. Yeah. Anderson had what's done. One thing. I really like about Henderson. He's so well grounded with his corner. He doesn't get overconfident. He never, and I've never seen him make mistakes that have cost him a fight once he gets ahead in a fight. He's only lost one fight in his career, and that was to the great Vanderlei Silva, and he took a bit of a beating in that fight. But he, he was never in fear of being stopped, and Vanderlei stopped so many guys. I think that there's very, very little chance Shoji at this point can, can win this fight. Henderson with a, a, a turn takedown. And oh, nice little elevator there. You see that? Oh, but he, he paid the price. Now, Shoji's hurt right here. Shoji may have to quit in this fight. He's really, really taking a beating here. Wow. What a reversal. Single arm elevator. <laughs> that's, that's, I've never seen that before. But he paid the price. Like I said, he probably used so much energy to get him off of him. Then he got eight a couple shots, and he almost turned his back. I think the referee's taking a real close look at Akira Shoji, just for his own health. Shoji is not going to just quit, but the referee will protect him from himself. There's a big right, right hand. hand. And another knee. That's it. They got to stop it. They got to they gotta stop it. Come on. Oh, my God. Continue. Jump on. Yeah, but he doesn't want to. Dan doesn't want to hurt the guy. Dan just wants to win the fight. I mean, Choji has got so much. Ben could choke him out here. He's going to go for the choke. He's going to go for the guillotine. Yep. From the mount, if he, even if he has partial mount, Choji looks like he's pretty much into just strictly survival mode at this point. Henderson has done more than dominate. He's just pretty much dictated every aspect of this fight for the last seven minutes. Yeah, he was all over him. And then he goes side choke again. He may, he may get the tap on this. Uh, nope. It looks like Shoji is, is going to offer very little resistance. If Dan can get in position. He can get a submission. The knees to the on the ground. I think Shoji should just tap. Yeah, but it's against his. Uh, yeah, no, I say against him. Yeah. He's thinking wise. He's the warrior. He's not going to tap. They're going to have to, like I said, stop the fight. Two different dictionaries. Two different definitions of the word tough. Oh Shoji. my God, that knee hurt. Look at this. I think the referee may need now to make an executive decision. Shoji epitomizes the samurai spirit. Oh, yes. Oh, he's going for the mount. Boss, if Shoji somehow reverses this and gets Dan Henderson into a submission or a knockout, that'll be the greatest comeback I've ever seen in a mixed martial art fight. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible right now. I think Dan, he's got no, not a malicious bone in his body. Probably wants to ride this out. He knows it shows he's not going to quit. Knee to the head again. He can go for the armbar now, you see? It's perfect. Wow, beautiful pass. Oh, and another knee. He's doing such a great job. That knee hurt. Now Shoji turning his back. Now he's in turtle position. Good. Good That's call. Good call. Good call. I'm glad. I probably would have called it a little earlier if I was the referee, but I'm not going to fault the referee because he, he stopped the fight for Shoji's protection. Dan Henderson was the first fighter to ever stop a Gracie, and now he's the first fighter to have ever stopped a Shoji. Henderson is dangerous. He is phenomenal. 